Welcome back to Totorate! Who knew that you could get Hungarian food right here in Japan? And they're serving it up at one of our favorite restaurants in Tokyo. Totorate is literally a one minute walk away from Nogata Station on the Seibu Shinjuku Line. That's just 15 minutes from Shinjuku. Nogata is a fun place to see how the locals live, and if you have the chance, check this place out. This place specializes in yoshoku, which is Japanese style Western dishes. This month, they're serving up Hungarian food, and since it's a cuisine we're not too familiar with, we thought we'd pay them a visit. It's a quaint and cozy place, and the owners are super friendly, and the food is always good. If you have any questions with the menu, they are always more than happy to help. English menus are available too, so you'll have no problem. Hey guys, we're back here at Totorate, aka the Tabi Eats restaurant. If you guys watched the first video, you know that we are in love with this place. We've discovered this place eight years ago, ever since they opened, and we've been coming back ever since. So we suggest starting out with some of their appetizers, then select your main dish from the grand menu like this Ropa Vieja or the Arabic chicken, meatloaf, their famous spare ribs. Whatever you choose, everything's gonna be delicious. And always, always end your meal with one of the three homemade desserts. Now the reason why we keep coming back to this restaurant is because they change up their menu every few months so it keeps things interesting. This month they're offering Hungarian dishes and we can't wait to try them out. Talking to the owner, he mentioned that this soup must have three different types of fish. So this one has uh, cod, perch nile, and another one called kuromotsu. That's in Japanese. I have no idea what it's called in English. And it is flavored with paprika. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's really flavorful fish. That could be the cod. That could be the nile perch. It's flavored just with paprika. It's actually lighter than it looks and it has a really nice fish flavor. It kind of reminds me of like a boya base. That is good and that is different. It's something that I've never had before. Unfortunately, the Hungarian wine is sold out. So it's Croatian wine called Frankovka. Well ripe grape taste. It's very nostalgic for me. When I was a child, I ate so much grape in my hometown. This taste is like that. Interesting, it looks like a crepe, like or omelette. It is chicken flake inside and wrapped with crepe. And the sauce is paprika, made with paprika and sour cream. Chicken taste with very unique um, spice of paprika. It's like a, the breeze from field, from the earth. I'm gonna cut myself a slice here. So these are the uh, chicken crepes with the um, paprika sauce. Mmm. Oh, I love this one. This kind of reminds me of an enchilada, but like it's more sophisticated cousin. The outside crepe is kind of like a savory pancake. It's not sweet at all whatsoever. The sauce is creamy. It's really flavorful. Overall, it's super well balanced. This is a dish that I would definitely order again. I was trying to figure out what this sauce was and it's paprika and there is some, the taste of caraway seeds. And um, I confirmed with the owner and he said, indeed, they do indeed use caraway seeds. This looks like uh, chunks of pork here, actually huge chunks of pork in this too. And this looks like something that I've had in Germany before. I think it was called like Spätzl. And I believe there it's kind of a similar thing here. I'm going to try some of this, uh, these, uh, this pasta. I think this is pasta. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes almost exactly like the ones I had in Germany. The texture is different from like Italian pasta. Um, the texture is a bit more grainy, I think, and it goes really well with the sauce. Okay. Yep, soft, really soft and tender. Ooh, 
wow. In this dish, I can definitely taste the paprika. The pork is so tender, like melt in your mouth tender. Mmm, mmm, that sauce is so flavorful. Full of spices that are so unfamiliar to me. スペアリブは開業する前にあの試作にもすごく力を入れてあの完成させた一品で開業から8年間ずっと作ってるお料理なんですけどもう私の一番の自信作で最後の一品食べていいよって言われたら絶対これを選ぶぐらい私の大好き
that kuro meats on the top adds like this really nice deep molasses like sweetness the matcha flavor is prominent and the amanato on the top actually gives it a really nice texture and a little more sweetness amanato you can buy it at the supermarket when you visit here in japan mmm mmm so good so well balanced delicious Ooh. Mmm, mmm. The strawberry tartness and the sweetness of caramel, really nice. It's perfect balance with this strawberry. I'm gonna just try the cheesecake part by itself. I just noticed there is some kind of crust on the bottom. So let's see what kind of crust this is. Mmm. I definitely taste caramel. It does taste like cheesecake, but it's almost like a mousse. It has like a texture of mousse. And that crust is somewhere between a pie crust and a sponge cake. It's not as soft as sponge cake, but it's not as crumbly as a regular crust. Matcha cheesecake. Open my eyes. This is cheesecake, but it has matcha flavor. But this is not matcha cake, it's cheesecake. If I can eat one thing until my dying day, I would choose spare rib. Uh, my favorite was that second thing I had. It was that enchilada looking thing. Chicken crepe with that beautiful sauce. I'm like stuffed right now from dinner, but I'm already craving that. To choose a favorite dessert is really tough for me, but I gotta say my favorite one was the matcha cheesecake. That matcha cheesecake was the bomb. As always, we had a wonderful meal. I am so satisfied. I'm already drunk. Yes, you are. But <laughs> when are you not drunk, Satoshi? <laughs> Let us know what you thought of this video. Which dish looked most appealing to you guys? And if you guys are in Tokyo, definitely come and visit this place. And don't forget to let them know that we sent you. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. We were waiting, waiting for you. you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for you. Huh? We've we'll been waiting, waiting for, for you! you. Wait. Wait. Yes, okay. okay.